Hi everyone. Today we're going to study representing relations using digraft. An important way of representing a relation is by using a pictorial representation. Each element of the set is represented by a point, and each ordered pair is represented using an arc with direction, indicated by arrow. These pictorial representations of a relation on a finite set is called directed graph or digraph. Let us see example 1. Draw the digraph of the relation. This is the relation R equals from ordered pair 1, 1 up to 4, 4. Defined on this set with elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. For our solution, let us draw four points here. Let us assign the elements of the set to each of the points. We can write the number 1 here or here, depending on where we want to put it. For this example, let us write this point to be 1, this is point 2, point 3, and point 4. Let us draw now the digraph starting with the first ordered pair 1, 1. Let us draw an arrow from point 1 going to point 1. So that will be a loop that looks like this. Next is the ordered pair 1, 2. Let us draw an arrow from point 1 to point 2. Here is the arrow. For the 1, 3, this is the arrow. For 1, 4, this is now the arrow. For our 2, 2, we are going to draw a loop on number 2. For the 2, 4, let us draw an arrow from point 2 going to point 4. For 3, 3, this is another loop on the point 3. Then the ordered pair 4, 4 represents a loop on the point 4. This is now the final answer. Example 2, find the ordered pairs of the relation represented by the graph shown below, where R is defined on the set A with elements A, B, C, and D. For our solution, let's begin with the point A. Let us identify all arrows that goes out from point A going to another point. The first arrow is here and we can see that this is from point A going to point B. That's why we write here AB. Another arrow from A is this, from A going to D. So we write here AD. There are no more arrows that goes out from A. Let's go now to point B. The same thing that we should do, let us identify all arrows that goes out from B going to another point. The first arrow that we will consider is the loop. And this is now represented by BB. Next is this arrow here from point B going to point D. So we write the ordered pair BD. There are no more arrows that goes out from B. Let us proceed with the point C. Let us identify all arrows that goes out from point C. The first arrow is here. It is an arrow from point C going to point A. So we write here CA. Another arrow is this, from point C going to B. So we write the ordered pair CB. There are no more arrows 
that goes out from C. Let us now proceed with point D. Let us identify all arrows that goes from point D to another point. I can see here that there is only one arrow and this is the arrow from point D going to point B. So we write here the ordered pair DB. So we have now here the relation and this is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.